Okay, part two on the Crossman PSM45. And so what we're going to cover on this one is a couple different uh, things you need to know. The lubrication uh, for the power plant and also the one problem area. Now in the last video, I don't want to contradict myself. I said I didn't find any major problems. It's not that it's a problem, but it could become one uh, if you're not alert. Okay, so if we look at the DAISY 340, they give you an ability to take apart the gun by pushing a toggle this swings down you remove this toggle and we get that comes out and you can pull the slide off okay i'm not going to demonstrate it on this video but uh, you have easy access to the breech in case you get a bb jam and you know i've been through my trials with the daisy 340 i have 9,000 shots through this platform uh, this this i just lubed with rws silicone for the first time uh, at 800 shots it was starting to drop a little bit and we'll show you how to do that so that covers this and your crossman and this does not get outshot by the crossman not not for me at least but the crossman uh, that is the daisy engineers get an a plus for breach access i've only suffered one bb jam in this gun with a brand new bb because i don't reuse bbs and it was a faulty new bb and i had to take this off and clear it and I tell people, because I've had arguments with airsoft kids, with a steel BB, you want to pound it out the breech. It's usually very lightly in the breech and pound it out so you don't split your barrel open or break your gun. So, again, A plus to the Daisy Engineers for, for breech access. And because of that easy breech access, I'm still just using standard Daisy BBs in this. Okay, so that's where we part ways, though, with the Crossman is the Crossman, unfortunately, they get a D on breach access, not an F. An F means you have no breach access. But unfortunately, they get a D. Everything else was A-plus across the board. And as I said in the first video, the magazine feeding system is actually an A-plus-plus. -plus. It's uh, really good, good engineering, good work. But, okay, so why would I say that? Why would I give it a D for breach access? Because you have pins. This gun's put together with pins. And so if you get a BB jam in there from using... Uh, well, cheap BBs, BBs off the ground, you have to pound out pins. Now on this one, it looks like it's uh, right to left, and I've done this enough to know it's two small taps with a punch and a hammer. The hitch side, which has sharp edges that retain the pin, it punches out in just a few taps, and if you don't see that, then try the other side. And so I'm betting it's right to left. If not, if I don't see the hitch side pop out, then I'd go the other way. But okay, so I don't want to confuse people uh, especially young shooters by having to use a hammer and punch to get your slide off that is that's not an a plus you know <laughs> for breach access that's that's a d because you have to use a hammer and a punch so now is that a big deal no it's not a big deal because you could do that when the gun spent as a, a fan of this gun told me after he shot out the spring or i say the spring sets you know i think i can get this gun to go eight thousand shots i did it with the first slide on the 340 and i'm confident i can do it with this crossman with careful care okay so, all right, so you don't have good breach access. And so how do you avoid a problem that could potentially cost you your gun if you don't pound out that pin right? And just the uh, sheer inconvenience of having to take apart your, your gun like that. Okay, so black diamond BBs. Now, uh, this was the first premium BB I tried and they're fast, but I, I they come in a little small and I they started to fall out of favor and fall behind in the horse race compared to Marksman's and Avanti and actually even its cousin, the Zinx Umarex, uh, the, the silver version. I really like the Umarex uh, Zinc. And so they're fast though, but they're good in two guns that I found. This one, the Crossman, and my Grizzly, really fast and accurate. Those are two very good BB guns. This is a very good BB gun. And the black diamonds are extremely fast. They come in a little small, so they won't jam. The idea, you know, the likelihood of them jamming your barrel is very, very low. So I would ask you to please consider black diamonds. You can go black widows. I, I'll play the politics right here. Black widows are fine, but that's five bucks for fifteen hundred for a pistol, for a carnival pistol. And then the black widows are a little more expensive, five bucks for a thousand, which I prefer for rifles. Yes, you can use black widows, but my number one pick for this gun, speed and accuracy and we're going to show some pop cans here this is a great gun for the black diamonds they the gun loves these bbs and the black diamonds love this crossman so okay so that was the one uh thing i needed to talk about because you don't have easy bre breach access you do not have easy breach access so please use black diamond bbs only new ones or black widows will work that's fine okay and we've covered the slide 
Now let's cover the lubing the power plant on this. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the protocols I did with the 340 and spend clockwork on that gun. Okay, there is a spring in there. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it in there so you can see it. Uh, there we go. Okay, there is a spring. There we go. Okay, there's a spring in there. It's just like the 340. And so what you're gonna do, okay, see that spring? Let me let me zoom in there a little bit for you. Sorry, that was a little bit difficult to get the light in there, but all right okay there we go okay so that spring you see in there sorry the camera's having a hard time folks you can there you can, there oh there it is okay every i'm gonna be looking to do that every 800 shots or so maybe 500 and so what you're gonna do is take you can use a couple here let me get back out you can use a couple different ones. I like RWS. I, I found some air gun rated ones. They please make sure it's air gun rated silicone. So RWS, Crossman, Crossman has a silicone. Uh, Magnum Air Powers uh, company. I'm uh, definitely got my radar now. Magnum Air Power silicone. And then just the best deal for how much you get, at least a bottle, literally this big, full of it, is um, Super Lube O ring silicone. So then you just put it in there, use a light. Okay, use a light overhead, and you may miss, but get it, get it till you get it inside there and hit the spring. And you're not trying to oil the spring, you're trying to get it in the tube, and then you just set it up like this, and then go shoot it. Okay, and you do that about every 800 shots. It's, it helped me get my first slide on my Daisy uh, 340 to 8,000 shots, So I, and it helped keep it, you know, full power for what this gun can do. Okay, so that's, that's how you do that. And again, so that slide... Or that spring in there is, there we go, is right there. And that's how you do it. You don't try to disassembly the gun. You don't got to, um, there we go. You don't got to take the pins out. So don't do that. Just go right through your magazine cavity right there. Okay. So, okay. So we covered that. And then the flashlight unit, like some of these other guns you've seen back, we'll go over real quick. You can put a flashlight on there. Now, with this unit, you have to take the screw off to slide it all the way on. But just to make my point here, we'll go ahead and slide that one on there. So it can't take a flashlight. The sights are so good on this. Like the Daisy 340, there is no Kentucky windage. And we'll get into that. For the New Age Marksman and for the German version of that, you have to use Kentucky windage. You don't have to use that. You can just get a flashlight unit like this, like this is. And you can shoot at night just using your light, your regular sights. It'll light up the target and you can use your hard sights. Uh, it shoots straight. Well, you know, straight as it can be. That is for a gun like this. Remember, these guns have two to three inch barrels and smooth bores. So, yeah, you don't need a laser. You can go ahead and get one. But these, this is a very accurate gun with, just with the sights. Okay, so what is Kentucky windage? So let's take a look at that. So Kentucky windage, like on the New Age Marksman, means it shoots high and to the left so that when you're aiming... You have to, okay, imagine this is, the, this is the target. You have to aim over here. You have to aim over here, and then it'll hit here or up here, so high into the left. And the German version does that too. So if you're aiming, if your target, uh, you're trying to hit this, you can't put it right there. you got to put it over to the side if you, if you follow my fingernail, and then it hits up here. The Crossman doesn't do that. Now, um, having said that, I really like, I think the best value really for the money, because the Crossman does cost a little more, but you get a great value. If you're a Glock guy, you're, you got to have it. So this is about $25 to $35, but it's a total malfunction free, accurate, hard hitting, and we'll get to that. And then, you know, you can put a laser on it. I want to show you this unit I have on my German DX is because I have to use Kentucky windage on it, but this is my favorite gun to shoot at night because I got a very special, so we have a laser. We have a flashlight, and then we have a laser flashlight. So what that looks like up on the wall. So, oh, oh damn. <laughs> you can't see it on the camera here. Let me, there we go. There's a laser, and then you can have just a flashlight. And then there's a, you have to trust me, there is a laser in the middle of that flashlight. And this is a lot of fun to shoot at night. But anyway, yeah. So that allows me to have windage control, an elevation of windage that I don't get. Um, otherwise, this, the sights are fixed, uh, and because of the Kentucky windage, otherwise I have to use. But a great gun to shoot at night, and, and that's an ASG flashlight laser combo. And you can put that on your uh, crossman if you want to do that. It's just like I said, a regular flashlight 
will work because it's so accurate just with the hard sights and you'll be able to use them once you light up your target. Okay, and let's see, let's talk about the cans. Let's finish talking about the cans now. Now, what I found special about this gun, the first power test, I do that at three yards. This is with Black Widows. So this is Crossman's own BB. So four out of five, you know, because you are going to get, you're still going to get wild shots, folks. It's a, it's a BB gun with a little barrel. And then two of them pierce through. So that's good. That's about average. Most of these guns you see out there do something like that at three yards. Okay. But what I found fascinating was that at, um, four okay three yards with this this is black diamond four out of five again but look how tight that group is i've never seen that before and then three of those punch through so that that's good and then i open it up to four yards and i don't usually do power testing at four yards meaning uh just so you know this is a a trick i learned with these guns for these guns you don't have to do it for red rider is uh flatten the front fill with water and so these are black diamonds. I got five for five at, at uh, four yards offhand. There's always offhand shooting with these guns. A cop told me to just practice offhand. He thinks that's best. Is Okay, so I hit here, and then I hit here, and the can started to turn. And then I hit here, and it kind of deflected but didn't pierce. So then I straightened out the can, and it punched through here and here. And so five for five, and then three of those punched through. And what was amazing to me was that... It was, you know, well, how tight the group is. How tight, I'd never seen that before. And that was at four yards. And three out of five of those punched through. So that that I've never seen before in these type of pistols. Uh, the other ones in back. And I want to conclude by talking about this can. This was actually at six yards. Part at six and five yards power testing, which I never even thought of trying that. So at six yards, yeah, I had some misses, three out of six. But I want to point this out. Really tight group up here. That is a really tight group. All three shots right there, and all three shots punched through, which I've, I've never seen that before. And then I stepped up to five yards with the black diamonds, three for three. Got all three on there. One, two, three. And then, okay, and then two of those punched through. So out of six hits, uh, five, yeah, out of six hits, five BBs passed through there, and i never seen that at five and six yards with these types of pistols. So... I would say just, you know, looking at how tight that group was and how good the penetration is. The black diamonds are definitely the BB one you use in this gun. And they only really stuck out in the Crossman because of how good the harmonics are. So, yeah. So, I uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you. It is a great gun. It costs a little more than the others. I think the best value, if you're looking for the best value for a trouble-free right out of the package, is going to be this German DX. And it's it's really a lot of fun with this, uh, with this yeah. That's a lot of fun, and I I do take out shoot at night quite a bit, but yeah, you but you have the same options with this. So yeah, so please enjoy your Crossman, and I would go with Black Diamond BBs for this, and I think you're going to be impressed by what this gun can do. Remember, it's not for killing pigeons or anything; it's for killing stress and for killing cans. So it's a good stress killer. All right, thank you very much.